What are body butters? Body butters are applied to retain moisture and nourish the skin. Body butters are used usually on the hands, the elbows, the legs, and feet. What are some ingredients used in body butters? Butters, such as shea butter, cocoa butter, oils, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, texturizers such as cornstarch, arrowroot powder, and etc. Waxes such as beeswax. Hardeners such as BTMS 50. Essential oils such as lavender oil. Fragrance oils. Body butters are the easiest thing to formulate. It is recommended to start to formulate with to get the hang of formulating. In this video, I'll be talking about the difference between gritty butters versus non-gritty butters. Starting with body butter formula one, we are making a 50 gram batch. Going to weigh our first ingredient, which is vitamin E oil. I got this from Nissan's. I'll make sure I link it down below. But the reason why we use vitamin E oil is because it's an antioxidant for oil-based products. It slows down the rancidity of anhydrous products such as butters and oils. Next, I'm using grapeseed oil and then also I've got mango butter. Mango butter contains vitamin A, an antioxidant that stimulates the skin's natural renewal process. It encourages the skin to produce new and healthy skin cells, improves the skin's texture and elasticity, and protects the skin against damage caused by sunlight, pollution, and even blue lights from screens. Fun fact, mango butter is a fat that originates from mango seeds. After weighing all of my ingredients, I am now going to mush the mango butter, which is also called creaming. I'm smashing the mango butter making sure it has a great consistency before I add the grapeseed oil. Now, when I'm adding the grapeseed oil, I pour a little in there, stir it up to make sure the ingredients are mixed well before adding more grapeseed oil. I feel like when sometimes we'll pour all of it in there and things are not mixed well, I love when things are mixed well. I believe that it just makes you makes your formulation a better formulation now after i'm done doing that i am adding the vitamin e oil next time which i've done it in the in the other clips i believe but i would add the vitamin e oil into the butters like just put it on scale as you guys see this body butter <laughs> um, is a very milky and very I say very just liquidy um, this could be a butter though believe it or not it can be a butter some people might put it in a pump though and um, add more oils because people do have li uh, liquid body butters I just learned about that in this clip I'm just showing you the consistency of the body butter um, We'll get into the liquids and more about the body butter later in the video. I'm showing you the containers I got from Amazon. I'll make sure I link it down below. Anything that is used, I'll make sure I use, I mean, I link it down below. Um, this is what the container looks like. I really like it. It's really, really nice. It doesn't have a cheap filling either. But now I am just filling the container up with the formula, well, the body butter. I do believe that um, when you're formulating, even when you're testing stuff out, you should just label it and also put the ingredients in so then you know just in case um, you might be like, oh, what is this? Or I forgot I uh, formulated that. But showing you again the consistency, um, the body butter was really moisturizing to my skin, but it was just um, liquidy. So I then put it in the freezer thinking that I'd probably solidify and stay solidified, which um, it did for a couple of hours and then it got liquidy again. So that just means that we'll have to go right back to the formula and lower the percentage of the oil and bring the percentage of the mango butter up. Body butter formula two. 
which is called Cocoa Mango Warm Blended Cream. Cocoa butter contains a high amount of fatty acids which helps to hydrate the skin. It creates a protective barrier that holds in moisture and prevents your skin from drying. Cocoa butter is a really hard butter and you will need a knife to cut it to get it into your beaker. Now I am weighing the mango butter and then now working on phase B which is grapeseed oil and vitamin E oil. I also forgot to mention that with this formula I am making a 50 gram batch. After that I'm just going to mix the vitamin E oil and grapeseed oil really well and then I am going to heat up my butters and place the butters into the Bain Marie slash water bath. This just helps your butters from not getting burnt when you just put heat on the oils and not actually have it in a water bath. Now after the, the uh, butters are um, melted, I am now mixing it up and then I let it solidify for a little bit and you guys look at this consistency. You don't see clumps in the body butter. That's what I love. Now I started whipping it up while it was being solidified like this, which is a little bit warm. So when I did that, it started getting oily, which kind of scared me. So I then put it in the refrigerator and then put it in for like about 30 minutes. And then later, um, I kept um, whipping it and I forgot to record when I took it out the refrigerator so I do apologize for that but as you see it's a fluffy fluffy body butter I love fluffy body butters I love the way it looks just look at the consistency of the body butter it's creamy it's fluffy it's the way I like it. I don't know, when I'm looking at body butters and um, some companies, I don't think they um, put their body butters in a, well, warm their body butters first and then whip it. And it just gives you a gritty feeling and I do not like that. So yeah, so um, I made sure I put a label on it and now I'm going to show you guys the consistency. had to bring it close up just look how nice it looks and the way it works on my skin the way it blends into my skin is beautiful last formula which is body butter formula 3 I am making a 25 gram batch with formula 3 I am weighing the shea butter and let's get into mango butter I believe mango butter is softer than shea butter the way like I can just spoon it out not saying that man uh, shea butter is far off of it's hard to get out but I don't know it's just easier to get the mango butter out faster than the shea butter I just love the way it feels in my hand it melts almost instantly with the warmth of my hands also I don't know if you guys haven't noticed but I believe mango butter is even lighter than um, shea butter like if you can see it's like a little bit lighter than the shea butter next I am weighing the grapeseed oil Since this will be a cold blended body butter, I am mashing the butters up with the back of my spoon, moving it around, basically manipulating the body butters to get it into a creamy um, consistency. After doing that, I am now going to add a little bit of the grapeseed oil, mix it up a little bit, and then add more of the grapeseed oil. And um, now, you guys, Last time I was talking about the vitamin E oil. I don't know why I just, well, actually it's in different phases. Um, but I could have just put uh, the rest of the body butter on the scale and then weigh it. I wouldn't do, um, I don't, I, I just wouldn't recommend to put it in a beaker by itself because it's so um, thick one and it's hard to kind of get out. But I did, um, 
just put a little bit of the body butter in the vitamin E oil and mixed it around and then put it in the rest of the body butter. On my last body butter making video, a lot of people asked, could oils be in the A phase, which is called the water phase? Like um, I was talking about in my other videos, it matters what type of um, product you are making. So the answer to people's questions, yes, butters and oils can be in phase A depending on what type of product you are making. So showing you guys the consistency of this butter, as you can see, you can see clumps of the butter. I don't know if you can see it right there, but you can definitely see it on my hand. As I swipe it on my hands, you can see the grittiness. And that's what I do not like. And the way it was blended into my skin kind of felt very uncomfortable comfortable due to the grittiness of the body butter let's talk in my last video I was making a body butter and said vitamin E oil is like our preservative vitamin E oil is an antioxidant that slows down rancidity and anhydrous products such as butters and oils preservatives you can use is optifin and phenonym in the next few clips, I will have information about the two preservatives. Usually people will put these preservatives in their body scrubs because when people are in the shower, they put water, a little bit of water in their product, which over time it can cause molding and yeast and bad bacteria that we do not want to put on our skin. Let's talk about butters to oil ratio. For more of a solid butter, use mostly butters and fewer oils, which are between 50% and 70% butter. For a softer and creamy butter, use equal parts of butters to liquid oils. For a liquid butter, you can use mostly oils and a small amount of butter, which can have 30% butter or less. Now let's talk about gritty butters versus non-gritty butters. Now watching this video, it should be pretty obvious that you will have to melt your body butter to get rid of the gritty filling in your butter. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe button, comment down below, like the video, and watch the next video. Bye!